Hello and welcome to Florida Focus. I'm Leif McCowie. As we approach Thanksgiving, Justin Michael shows us one organization that is helping feed those in need. It's the season of giving and Feeding Tampa Bay has the perfect opportunity for you to get back to your local community. Feeding Tampa Bay is the local branch of Feeding America. They collect food and donations to help support families and people in need. However, their mission is more than keeping people fed. It's about creating stability for those in need. CEO of Feeding Tampa Bay, Thomas Mance, tells us more about his goal. When people come into our care, they are struggling with a whole lot of different things in their lives. And they're coming to us because they are in a very difficult spot. And uh, they want a way forward. In the simplest definition, you ought to come in for a meal and we'll figure out a way for you to walk out with a future. Investing in people's futures, Feeding Tampa has expanded the way in which people access food. They now offer mobile food pantries, a community market, and recipes to those looking for their next meal. Shannon Hannon Olivero explains the importance of having options to choose from. So the important thing is let's keep you healthy and make sure you have food, but we also want to introduce you to partners and opportunities from Feeding Tampa Bay, expand that out to address the needs that you do have. So then maybe you won't need to come into the food line any longer. Olivera says $1 is equal to five meals and people looking to donate food should donate items they like to eat. If you're interested in helping your community by hosting a food drive or fundraiser, visit feedingtampabay.org for more information. In Tampa, Justin Michael reporting for Florida Focus. A local high school marching band is receiving a prestigious invitation. Garrett Shoemake has the details. The Seminole High School Warhawk Marching Band is receiving an invitation to play in the Rose Parade. The event takes place in Pasadena, California on New Year's Day just before the Rose Bowl. This will be the school's third appearance. Band director Gerard Madrinen shares his excitement about the opportunity. I have to pinch myself before I fall out of my chair that I'm like, this is actually real. I didn't like accidentally make this up that we got in. We actually got in. Seminole is the only high school selected in the state of Florida to perform at this event. Madrinen says it's a huge honor. For us to be able to represent Pinellas County, the Tampa Bay area, and the entire state of Florida is a huge honor. It's not just that an invitation to the Rose Parade is going to make the school and the band program look good. This is a great opportunity for students to make lifelong memories. Drum Major Haley Westfall and Band Captain Mason Dirks say that the Rose Parade is going to be a fun experience and beneficial for everyone in the band. I know at least like 15 people off the top of my head who have never been in an airplane before, so it's just a really fun experience that we're all going to get to experience together. Something of this size is, very, is going to be very beneficial for everyone. It's going to change a lot of perspectives for a lot of kids here. While the Warhawk Marching Band won't perform until New Year's Day in 2025, the students play great music year-round, and their extended history of success will keep their community engaged and excited for when the time comes. In Seminole, Garrett Shoemake, reporting for Florida Focus. This has been a Florida Focus News Break. Thanks for watching, and have a happy Thanksgiving.